Charlotte's Wood. Charlotte's Wood is all about connecting people with nature. That's my thing. I like to start off with a walk around the woodland and, and my little woodland has got quite a nice defined path and the purpose of doing that is about getting that transition from not being in the woodland to being in the woodland. One, two, three, where are you? So I always have a digging area and I have a little mud kitchen area. We've been making apple mud pies. Mud, water, dirty water, apples, twigs, leaves, anything we can find on the ground really. In the afternoon we usually have a fire and we do some cooking or something like that. The fact that the natural environment provides so many resources but also it doesn't provide everything, so they have to kind of think creatively. As the day goes on, they go off, they make friendships and they find their own play and their own games, which is great, great to see. Egg box challenge. A mini beast, red leaf, shiny belly, something prickly, soft feather, something beautiful. Oh, one little bird. Today, and I got it today. Not a little rabbit. What the parents get is a day or two days when the children don't ask at all to have a screen. They just don't need it because they're just busy all day. And it's lovely, to be honest, because particularly with the little ones, they always, you know, they, they notice maybe a, a toadstool that's appeared that wasn't there before. There are three things based on earth education principles. So it's about looking after yourself, looking after each other and looking after the woodland. And we try and leave the woodland as we found it. Forest School is very much not focused on an end product. It's all about the process. So I think it's a great opportunity to develop children's creativity. Yeah. I've had children on the autistic spectrum whose behaviour is perhaps more challenging in the classroom. And I guess those are the children who I really notice it having the most significant impact on. Um, because for those children, they don't stand out when they're outside. And I guess I have very positive memories myself of spending time in woodlands as a child. And I can remember that feeling of freedom. Very calming and soothing, and just the smells, you know, it really activates your senses. The children learn such a lot and it's not, it's not through the direct teaching, of which there's very little, but it's just through their relationships with other children, those opportunities to play and explore, test themselves, challenge themselves. So with the magic spot, they follow the three S's, so they're silent, they're sitting and they're still. It's just about finding a space where they can perhaps be on their own, look around them and take some time out and enjoy just being. Mm -hmm.